Society has never been as advanced as it is at this moment. At any given time, at the very tips of your fingers, you have access to more knowledge than some past civilizations had in their entire existence. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious discoveries. The Mystery of the Miniature Coffins In June 1836, a group of young boys sought to beat the summer heat by spending the day hunting for rabbits. Their spot on the northeast slopes of Edinburgh, Arthur's Seat, Scotland, provided the perfect hunting grounds. Arthur's Seat, much as it is today, is like standing upon the edge of the world. As the group of young hunters made their way across the grassy peak, they captured more than what they bargained for. By accident, the group discovered a small cave containing 17 coffins. If the discovery itself wasn't creepy enough, these coffins were rather abnormal. They varied in size, each one measuring only about 3 to 4 inches long. Instead of hosting the bodies of the dead, they contained fully clothed miniature wooden figures. Unfortunately, the boys destroyed nine of them during their antics, leaving only eight remaining. Today, all eight are displayed at the National Museum of Scotland. Early theories suggest that the coffins were part of a ritualistic ceremony pertaining to witchcraft. Others say it's commemorative of bodies of sailors lost at sea, or of travellers who never returned home. These theories seem unlikely in the modern context. With the backing of more advanced scientific studies, recent hypotheses have moved away from the early theoretical frameworks into something much more sinister. By tracing the materials used to clothe the figures, researchers were able to date the clothing to somewhere around the 1830s. This discovery meant that the figures were likely buried only shortly before they were uncovered by the young hunters. Due to the varying levels of decay between each of the figures, evidence suggests they were buried during different periods, one after another. In the early 1990s, two scholars of Scottish studies, Professor Samuel Menefee and Dr Alan Simpson, proposed a new theory. As it turns out, these coffins match in number and time frame to 17 murder victims from a dark stretch in Scottish history. Two notorious figures, William Burke and William Hare, are known today as the murderers who profited by selling the bodies of their victims as cadavers and research subjects. The period in which the miniature coffins were buried aligned with the time in which Hare and Burke were killing and profiting from it. These findings suggest that the coffins may have signified the 17 who died during those dark times. No matter the case, the true purpose of the miniature coffins remain a mystery. Ancient Ape Bones in Ireland With the way that modern society has disconnected many of us from the natural world, it's easy to forget that as humans, we too are part of a greater genus, Homo, derived from the Latin term for man. At one time, before they went extinct, others from our genus, Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and Neanderthals, otherwise titled Homo neanderthalensis, walked the earth. Aside from other existing species such as orangutans, gorillas, and chimpanzees, there are a few other animals that we encounter to remind us of our humble beginnings. Viewing history from a broader lens never fails to astonish, especially considering that modern humans managed to move across the earth and multiply so successfully. It's easy to only credit Homo sapiens with this feat, but as it turns out, we weren't the only ones to travel widely. Dating back to the Neolithic period, the Navan Fort in Northern Ireland still stands as a renowned ancient Irish historical site. As it's such an important landmark of Irish history, it should come as no surprise that numerous excavations have taken place to uncover some of the secrets it has to offer. Most of the discoveries were as expected, revealing artefacts, glass beads, and animal bones common to the area, but the most curious of the discoveries was the uncovering of a Barbary ape skull. The peculiar find was located near the centre of the fort, at the heart of everything. Whether this was on purpose or by coincidence remains unclear. Aside from its location, there are many mysterious aspects to this discovery, the most puzzling of which being that the Barbary ape is a species of Old World monkey. It's exclusive to an island and parts of North Africa. By utilising radiocarbon dating, researchers were able to determine that the skulls date to 390 to 20 BC, long before the modern conceptions of international travel were prevalent. 
though the distance travelled is astonishing considering the time it occurred in. It's thought to be unlikely that the Barbary ape travelled to the Navin Fort alone. This leaves a few possible explanations pertaining to its pilgrimage, the most likely of which being that the Barbary ape was brought back across seas as a pet. If the ape was cared for or considered a treasure, this explanation may account for the location it was discovered in, within the centre. Historical data suggests that other cultures may have also taken exotic animals as pets, so it's not totally out of the realm of possibilities that this was the case for the ape. Moreover, if this account is true, it provides substantial support for the hypothesised ancient trade routes between Ireland and parts of the Mediterranean. It goes to show that every new discovery acts as a puzzle piece to the wider picture of the past. Archaeologists have found more than 20 ancient wooden coffins near the Egyptian city of Luxor. There aren't any limitations to the wondrous intrigue of Egypt. Rich in historical significance and mind-boggling architectural achievement, Egypt has been at the forefront of much of our archaeological discoveries. Though this information is well known, it's easy to think of these historically significant discoveries as things of the past. The pyramids have been found, tombs have been discovered, and mummies have been documented. Recently, this perception of saturated findings was broken, when archaeologists discovered what had been described by the Egyptian government as one of the largest and most important finds within the past few years. In October of 2019, near the west bank of the Nile, 30 well-preserved Egyptian caskets were discovered. The coffins were piled into two layers, 18 wooden coffins on top, 12 of them along the bottom, every single one left virtually untouched by time. To make matters even more impressive, the Egyptian antiques minister said at a conference that it's the first large human coffin group ever discovered since the end of the 19th century. The coffins date back nearly 3,000 years, making it rather exciting to find them still sealed and in pristine condition that they're in. The outside of each of the coffin is covered with the same vibrant, colourful paintings, inscriptions and hieroglyphics, so they're believed to have been designed and created at all the same times. The coffins were opened after the extraction. Inside, they contained the well-preserved, mummified remains of men, women and children, all believed to have been high status in their lifetimes. There are a couple of considerations to be made to help identify who they may have been. The primary factor is the burial location of these coffins. Most ancient Egyptian burials of the highest prestige, pharaohs and their queens, were buried in the great monuments that Egypt is famous for today. So these mummies weren't of the highest prestige possible, however that doesn't discount they were of higher prestige. The burial practices of common folk at the time didn't involve decorated coffins or well-orchestrated burial grounds, so these factors alone suggest a certain level of affluence for the mummies discovered. All things considered, it's believed that at the very least this group was middle class. Given the unusual circumstances of their burial, it's also believed the coffins were possibly hidden by a priest who was trying to protect the body from looters. In any case, this phenomenal discovery has restored a sense of wonder to an already wondrous environment. If discoveries like this are still possible, it's intriguing to consider the possibilities of what may be found in the future. So what do you make of these mysterious discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.